Hey, Kuata! Yes, sir? What the hell is this material? Is there something wrong with it, sir? I can't believe you don't even know the answer to that! Well, it's probably because you don't understand that you can create such garbage material. Damn it! Just because he graduated from a good university, and yet this is all that you can do? I'm sorry, sir. No matter how much you can study in school, if you can't do your job properly, then you're useless in the real world! Redo this and fix it by tomorrow! Yes, sir. Um, I would be grateful if you can please tell me in a little bit more detail what was unacceptable about this. That's your job to think about! Use that small brain of yours! What is that on top of your neck? Is it just for decoration? Uh, yes, sir. I'm sorry. Come on! Hurry up and get back to work! As soon as I graduated college, I was able to get a job at my dream company. The biggest company in the industry. When I first got the job offer, of course, I was ecstatic. I couldn't wait to get to work, to be abused in the company, and through the successes of my work, to be able to celebrate with others. That ideal scenario that I've been looking forward to was immediately destroyed. The people at the company, particularly the people up top, all had a terrible glare in their eyes. They were only interested in their own personal success. There was a lot of competition, and at times, they would even betray the people that should have been their teammates in order to drop them out of the race. Everybody was only trying to climb into a better seat for themselves. In particular, the person that became my boss was exactly that kind of person. If that was all there was to it, then it would have been better than this. But in the first place, that guy himself can't even do his job properly. I heard that he was only promoted because he knew how to flatter the directors. And that's why, even from the smallest mistake, he's always coming down on me. He gets a high out of pointing out my mistakes. And then, because that's his only reason, he can't actually point out what I did wrong. And he can't give me any suggestions on how to fix it. In other words, if I had more experience here, then I should be able to figure that out and respond appropriately. But it hadn't even been six months since I joined the company, so I didn't even have the experience to fight back. I saw you getting yelled at again earlier. It was so loud I heard it all the way at my desk. Well, Miss Tenzuka. You could just call me Sayuri. You're my senior here. I can't call you that. You're too stiff. Relax. Come on. Relax those shoulders. Take a deep breath. Otherwise, you won't even be able to do the things that you actually can do. Yes, ma'am. The person that came to talk to me was my senior colleague, Miss Sayuri Tenzuka. As you can see, she was an unbelievably beautiful woman. Not only that, but she was really good at her job, and she had a great personality. And she looked after her junior colleagues. She was a super perfect being. She was easily the most popular amongst all of the male employees, to the point where people called her the company Angel. I was her direct junior colleague. I was lucky that she looked after me. These days, the best thing that happened from joining this company was to be able to talk to Miss Tenzuka like this. Men are simple creatures. Just by having a beautiful person next to us, we try to show off, and we sit up more straight, and we work a little bit harder. Of course, I'm not thinking about dating her or anything far beyond my reach like that. As long as Miss Tensuka would compliment me, if she were here to give me even the smallest compliment, that was more than enough. Although, I wasn't even able to do that. I've only been able to show her the pathetic side of me. That's only complaining about my boss. So what happened? I was told that my paperwork was difficult to read. Let me see. As your senior colleague, let me take a look at it. Thank you very much. This is the material. Hmm, I see. What's so wrong about it? Can I be honest with you? Of course. It's not bad, but at the same time, it's not good either. Listen up, Kenta. Yes? I want you to keep this between you and me, but this is about our boss. You see, He's not very good at looking at paperwork that's this advanced. Because this is just a direct report of the current situation. 
which means that he won't approve of a regular level paperwork. In order to get his approval, you have to present work that in other departments would be considered top of the class. But how? I understand how you feel that this level of achievement shouldn't be sought from a new hire. But you know what? Think about it this way. If you can get the approval of that manager, then you would be able to get the approval of anybody else. Actually, not only that, but your personal ratings will go up. And that's going to be a strong weapon for you, especially for your long life ahead in this company. That's why it may be difficult right now, but we can do this together. Thank you so much, Miss Tensuka. Like I said, you can call me Sayuri. If that's not possible, then at least just Tensuka. I, I don't like being called Miss. Why are you that particular about the way that I address you? Because you're my very first junior colleague I've ever had. Uh-huh. And I had always decided that if I were to get a junior colleague or have my own team, I was going to look after them and make sure that we could all work together and have fun. And when you address me in such a stiff way, it makes me sad. When I think back to it, I think that was the moment that I fell in love with her. It wasn't just a profound respect, it was a crush. But at the same time, I knew that that was never going to be a reality. There's no way that somebody this amazing would ever look at someone like me like that. Well then, let's get to editing this material. I can teach you. Miss Tensuka? W what? Is it me? Or are you blushing? It seems that she felt she said too much, and she was blushing. I could see that her ears were slightly red. I I'm not blushing. That's a lie. That's the truth, and stop teasing your senior colleague. Yes, ma'am. But maybe that wasn't so bad. What do you mean? Don't you feel like we just got a little bit closer? I do. I definitely do. Right? With Miss Tenzuka's help, I recreated the paperwork. And after that, I was able to get the boss's approval. After that, I continued to learn the ways of my job as Miss Tenzuka's junior colleague under her guidance. And the more things I was able to do, the more times she would compliment me. Miss Tenzuka, this is about the meeting next week with Canon Company. I can't do Monday or Tuesday. I have separate meetings. Any other day? On Thursday morning, we have external meetings, so how about 1 p.m. at Canon Company? I will take the necessary paperwork ahead to their office, so you can just come straight from your meetings and meet me there. Kenta? Yes? Nice one. Thank you very much. This was another incident. Karada, I want you to join me in the internal presentation. Are you sure you're okay with me? Because you and I created the material together for it this time. But I'm still only in my second year here. So? What about that? Nobody that entered the company with me has been able to do that much yet. So what's wrong with that? You can be the first. Plus, it's something that you're going to experience eventually anyway, so prepare yourself. Yes, ma'am. You don't need to be that nervous. You're just going to be supporting me, and I'm asking you this because I think that you can do it. Well then, if it goes well, please treat me to a meal. Sure. Wow. Now I'm even more excited about it. Why are you getting so excited, Miss Tenzuka? Because if it goes well, then that means I get to go out to dinner with you, Kenta. That's a wonderful reward. No, that's actually a reward for me. Well, anyway, never mind. Let's do this presentation. Let's go. Of course, the presentation went well. After the presentation, Miss Tenzuka took me to a pub. There was no romantic atmosphere, but the food was super delicious. And then, a few years went by. I was trained underneath a strict boss and a senior colleague that was like an angel, and I was the first to get promoted out of the people who joined the company at the same time. And today, I was finally able to have my own junior colleague. I've been waiting for this day, and that's because there was something I had already decided. The same way that Miss Tensika did all that for me, I was going to be as kind and helpful as I could to my junior colleague. Um, are you Miss Momo Hyakutani? Oh, yes? I'm Kenta Kurata. I'm in charge of training you. Nice to meet you. 
very nice to meet you, Mr. Karada. You don't need to call me Mr. You can just call me Kenta. Hey, Hyakutani! Yes, sir? What is this material? Is there something wrong with it, sir? I can't believe you don't even know the answer to that! Well, it's probably because you don't understand that you can create such garbage material. Damn it! Just because you graduated from a good university, and yet this is all you can do? No matter how much you can study in school, if you can't do your job properly, then you're useless in the real world! Redo this and fix it by tomorrow! Can you please just tell me what's wrong with it in detail? That's your job to think about! Use that small brain of yours! But isn't it your job, sir, as my boss, to teach your team? Hey, Kurata! Yes, sir? What are you wasting your time with teaching this girl? I'm sorry, sir. Wait, uh, this has nothing to do with Mr. Kenta. Momo, it's fine. But... You need to teach her so that we can use her. I can actually count on you these days, Kurata. Yes, sir. I bowed my head down, and even though Momo didn't want to, I made her bow down as well, and we returned to our desks. Listen up, Momo. You need to stop trying to get into a fight with the manager. Because that guy, uh, it's not only me, he was even yelling at you. Uh, I can't stand him. Who is he calling me useless? When he himself can't even do any of this work, I heard that he only got promoted because he flattered all of the directors. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. I just felt like I was looking at myself from the past. Was there a time when you were also getting yelled at like I am? There was, and I got yelled at a lot. But, Mr. Kenta, you're the youngest star of the company. I don't think you and I are of the same kind. That's not true at all. The only reason why I was able to grow was because I had a senior colleague that spent a lot of time to teach me. You're talking about Miss Tenzuka, right? Exactly. She's amazing, isn't she? She's beautiful, she's good at her job, and she's friendly. I really look up to her. Well then, you need to keep working hard. All right now, why don't I take a look at the material that was rejected? Thank you very much. This is it. Hmm, I see. What's wrong with it? I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not bad. If this was in any other department, I'm sure it would have been approved. But then... But it can be improved. This was something that Miss Tenzuka taught me when I was a new hire, but our manager is not that great at looking at paperwork, because this is just a direct report of the current situation, which means that he won't approve of a regular level paperwork. In order to get his approval, you have to present work that in other departments would be considered top of the class. No way. At the same time, think about it like this. If you can get the approval of our manager, then you'll get the approval of anybody anywhere. And that's going to be a strong weapon for you, especially for your long life ahead in this company. That's why it may be difficult right now, but we can do this together. Yes, I'll do my best. That's the spirit. By the way, Mr. Kenta? What is it? I'm going to work hard, so I want a reward. Right, sure. I'll take you out for dinner again or something. No, that's not what I meant. We've been really busy with work lately, right? Yeah, that's true. Because of that, I haven't had much time for my private life. What? Are you telling me that you want to take days off? The opposite. The opposite? I want you to please give me one of your days off. Next month is my boyfriend's birthday. Yeah. And I haven't had any time to choose a birthday present for him. So, are you asking for my help to find something? This is why you're the company star. You're quick to get it. Don't tease me. But can I ask for your help? We've been dating for so long that I've already given him most of the presents that he's ever wanted. So it's made it harder every year to choose something for him. Since I don't have much time, I want to decide within one day, and I feel like you have good taste in your clothes and accessories, so you would be able to help me, Mr. Kenta. If you're okay with me just showing you around to some of the shops I often go to? 
That would be a huge help. Sure. Then on the next weekend. Yes. But in order to make sure we can probably take that day off, first, we need to get to work. Yes, sir. Momo was a hard worker. She listened to all of the advice that I gave her, and she was able to squeeze out the boss's approval. And then, as promised, we met up on the weekend alone in order to buy a birthday present for her boyfriend. I don't know how to explain it, but Momo had become like a little sister to me. And even though she was a handful, that was also fun. She was a little bit immature, but she was sincere. And I could only wonder if I was able to become a good senior colleague, even a little bit closer to what Miss Tensuka was to me. And then, the following Monday... Hey, Mr. Kenta! What is it? Is it just me, or is this weird? Did you notice too? Yeah, I I'm not just imagining things, am I? Everybody in the office is staring at us. Kenta! Oh, long time no see. I heard you laid hands on your junior colleague, huh? What did you say? That's all everybody's talking about, that rumor. That you were on a date with her last weekend. Oh, so that's why everybody's staring at us. But we're all adults here. Why is everybody acting like we're still in high school? Well, you're a special case. You were the first to get promoted, and more than anything, you're Miss Tenzuka's little pet. All of the guys are celebrating that their biggest rival has been taken out. But that's just a false rumor. I didn't go on a date. You sure about that? The junior colleague you're talking about is her. Interesting. She's pretty cute. All right, Momo. Explain. Yes, sir. I just asked Mr. Kenta for his help to help me choose a birthday present for my boyfriend. My boyfriend also knew that I was going to be spending the day with him. This is the message for proof. Ah, how boring. So that's all it was. Can you hurry up and tell everybody that it's a false rumor? I mean, you came all the way to my desk to figure out if a rumor was true or not, right? You saw right through me. Got it. Must be difficult to be that popular. Don't tease me. Yes, sir. By the way, Mr. Kenta? What do you want? Please take care of that misunderstanding on your own. I think it's going to become even more of a pain if I say something. What misunderstanding? When I followed Momo's gaze, it pointed at Miss Tenzuka. And when I looked over at her, it looked like she was angry. And then she was crying. Whatever the case may be, she was glaring right at us. Miss Tenzuka! Kenta? Yes? Is it true that you started dating Momo? No, it's not true. It's all a misunderstanding. R really? Yes. Is that so? Well then, so it's not true that you went on a date either, is it? Ugh, thank goodness. Yes, that's right. We didn't go on a date. It was just that we were out together on the weekend. That's all. Huh? You went out together? The two of you? Yeah, well... Isn't that a date? No, it isn't. I just had to go with Momo to help choose a present for her boyfriend's birthday. We went shopping, and then we ate a little bit, and then we parted ways. But that's a date. What? But why? Why would you? What do you mean, why? Because she asked me to. So if anybody asks you, you would go on a date with anybody? Like I said, it wasn't a date. No, that was definitely a date. What is this anyway? Why do you seem so upset about this? Well, obviously that's because I also want to hang out with you, Kenta. What? Really? Yeah, really. Isn't it obvious? Uh, I don't understand, but then next week... Should we go and hang out somewhere? Just the two of us? Yeah, I'll definitely go. And if you try to back out now, it's too late. I would never try to back out. So for some strange reason, I had plans to hang out with Miss Tensuka the next weekend. And the plans that we had for that weekend was to walk around town with Miss Tensuka. Not to the movies or the amusement park or to the aquarium. It wasn't anything like that. We just went around window shopping and eating snacks like crepes and talking a little bit more closely than usual. 
and we walked. And next to me, she was smiling. That's why I was also smiling. And before I knew it, I was having so much fun that time flew by. Uh, that was so much fun. Really? Of course. Did you not have fun, Kenta? I had a great time, but... Uh... <laughs> then we're matching. Even though it's been a few years since we met, it's the first time we've done anything like this. At the most, we would only go out to eat to celebrate something at work. That's true. And plus, you never invited me at all, Kenta. Oh, please. There's no way that I could invite you. Why? What do you mean, why? But I've been waiting, because you have a small crush on me, don't you? It wasn't small. It was a very big crush. But I didn't have the courage to say that. Because, Miss Tensuka, you're so beautiful, and you're popular amongst everybody, and you're so kind. There's no way that someone like me would be a match for you. And who decided that? The people at the company? Or you yourself, Kenta? Well, that's... At the very least, it wasn't me. And I also don't feel that way at all, because I love you. What? In the beginning, I just thought of you as my cute junior colleague. You were so easy to read, and you were sincere. You were less like a junior colleague, more like a little brother. That's right, I thought of you as a little brother, and I thought it was kind of cute how you were struggling with your job, too. I had no idea. But you worked really hard, didn't you? You never gave up, and you only continued to keep growing, and I was able to rely on you. But that was always my goal. By the time I realized, I liked you, not as a junior colleague, but as a man. Hey, Kenta? Yes? When are you ever going to stop calling me Miss Tenzuka and call me Sayuri? Miss Tenzuka was looking at me with serious eyes, and those eyes were overflowing with strong emotion. She was serious, and that passion gave me the courage. I also couldn't hold it in anymore, so I spoke the words that I've been holding in for so long. I like you too, Miss Tenzuka. Yeah. I had a crush on you first, Miss Tenzuka. And I like you more, Miss Tenzuka. So please, will you go out with me? I'm going to say one more time. Yes? When are you going to stop calling me Miss Tenzuka and call me Sayuri? Right now. Sayuri, will you please go out with me? Yes. I can't wait to be your girlfriend. Me too. I squeezed Sayuri in my arms with everything I had, and I could feel how happy she was. That was the first time after all these years that you called me Sayuri. It, it makes me blush. Do you not like it? As if. I hope you call me Sayuri a lot from now on. <laughs>